Good day everyone, Professor Maple here. We're back on the island of Manitario in Maple's world, doing some things, doing some stuff. Um, <laughs> I want to uh, thank you all for the uh, for the nice comments on the last episode. I had very few emotional slash mental spoons. Well, a very low energy episode, and I appreciate the, the kind words and the support on the last video. Uh, speaking of... Uh, at, at the beginning, we'd built Colton's house here, and there there was a debate whether we should use mud bricks or nether quartz bricks. Um, so I put up a, a poll in the community tab to see what people liked better, and uh, mud bricks did get vote, but uh, uh, the the nether bricks won, nether nether quartz bricks rather one in the end there so uh so yeah we'll, we'll pop these out put the the quartz bricks in thank you very much for your participation in that poll if you did because uh i was kind of leaning towards the bricks i didn't want to say anything to to bias the poll or anything like that um but uh i don't know i i, I wasn't sure if maybe i was not the majority in that uh so yeah the the nether quartz bricks are here to stay uh we've got that uh oh i can put these mud bricks back too and i'll probably put this whole shulker box away now uh that we've we've got that going on here but yes the elephant in the room here is that we've got a lot more water where there used to be lots of grass and um if we just pop over here you can see I've done like this is this is the size of the island originally, and we're shrinking it down. We don't need it to be quite as big, and it's going to be very rectangular when we're done because that's just how Animal Crossing islands are currently. And, like there's a little bit of variation here with with like the bumps and stuff and the little outcrops and things, but for the most part, it's going to be a rectangle. So. But in a, in a game full of, like, cubes, I didn't think that would be too big of an issue. I knew that would, would happen from the start here. Um, and, and yeah, so we've got, we've got a bit more going on here. We've got, uh, we've got Phoebe's house here. She's the little ostrich person. Uh, Islander. Uh, I've got some flowers. I need to get more flower farms in place. So I've, I've been working off camera at the flower forest area to get, uh, to get um, other flowers in, and I actually did get, and and those of you who've been watching a while or been watching the older episodes of Maple's World, you know corn flowers are a bit of an issue with me, but for me, not with me. I I I I like corn flowers, but uh, they don't seem to like me <laughs> when updates happen, like Caves and Cliffs that changed the uh, the flower map a little bit. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've got a new, and, and I'll probably go back and, uh, when I'm editing and get some footage of this, but I've got, I've got some, some new cornflower farm going on in, in the flower forest biome, uh, near the orange tulips <laughs> that used to be the old cornflower area. Um, so I, I could probably make a farm around that pretty soon. Um, I just haven't had a demand for cornflowers because I haven't been working on that nether tunnel. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a thing. But we're not doing any of that today. We're, we might come back and do a little bit of, like, building here at the island project. But the armored paws drop came recently. 1.20.5 is not a major update. I am surprised they dropped the... The whole uh, wolf variants and ar armadillos um, as soon as they did instead of waiting for 1.21 1.21 yes that that's the one um, but uh, but they did so um, because one kind of looks like my dog Jack and I'll put a picture of him on screen here as well just so you have a reference um, I kind of want to look for a, for one, right? 
so I've we've got I've got my brush for brushing armadillos. I want to look for those too. Uh, I've got some spider eyes to breed armadillos. I'm not bringing any back to the base or anything like that. But yeah, lots of bones to to go around. And uh, and we're gonna we're gonna go to some jungles. We're gonna look for Maple's World's version of Jack. Um, plus or minus some some white spots, and uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna see what we can find. All right, so the, you'll notice the Nether's a bit darker in in here, because uh, the update kind of made it so that all the texture packs I have, including the brighter Nether that Celafan made for people to use. Um, yeah, those, those don't work anymore. So I'm on default. So the rain is thicker and who knows what other surprises we may find, but I've moved the, the Mesa, we're in the West tunnel, by the way, uh, in case you couldn't remember or don't know, we've had this color coded, but yeah, we're in the West tunnel. We're going to the terracotta mining area. Cause that's kind of the westernmost portal we have in Maple's world at the moment. And uh, I, I moved the portal from a hill near the nether fortress up top there down to here just to make it align with the tunnel, with, with the, the nether hub. And hopefully that means that, uh, that we can, we can have a, a bit easier time getting in and out because it's a bit of a trek getting through that part now that it, I have the nether hub all closed off. And what is that dolphin doing? I've never seen a dolphin do that before. That's interesting. You okay, dolphin? Something's going on. I think this dolphin is in distress here. Something's definitely happening. Well, if if we are lucky, then we'll, when we get moving, the dolphin will despawn and it won't be in, in distress anymore. Anyway, I got to sleep. And as much as we could try and go to this jungle to see if we can find a, a wolf there, uh, we're not going to have any luck because that's already been generated. So we have to go. We have to go out probably to a uh, negative 5,800 and a uh, positive 1,500. So, although this is taking a while to load, maybe there's something in here. I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is all stuff I've loaded before. I had, I had uh, MCA selector up earlier. I was looking at it and I was looking at that compared to the chunk base coordinates for jungles and it just looked like I had already generated a lot of the jungles already looking for the um, trail ruins and stuff when we were looking for relics. So yeah, I'm going to fly around if anything interesting happens like, oh, look at that. I wasn't expecting that. That's cool. All right. Neat little cherry grow there. It's nice to see them more often now. But yeah, if anything like that happens, or if I see some armadillos, because we are in a savanna and I don't know if I've generated it yet or not. Oh, wait, is that... Is that what? Yeah. Okay, cool. Armadillos. I think that's a baby armadillo there. So this one's got to be a parent. Oh, wow. These, ah, I almost broke my brush doing that. And <laughs> I forgot there were advancements added in this update. So have I achieved one of those? Yes, I did. Um, and that was, that was, that was, isn't it scute? Get armadillo scutes from an armadillo using a brush. Okay. Wow. At first I thought there were pigs. They were kind of pinkish, but they're kind of not. So 
yeah, the, we, we've achieved one of those. We always broke the brush doing it, but we achieved it. Anyway, so we've got that. We've got eight scoots. So we've got, I th think, enough to make an armor, or a wolf armor, and then repair it. But Jesus, that really takes durability off the brush there. That was, how much? I've got six durability left. That's I I can't have that in my in my hand just in case I break it. That sounds like a bad time. I put I put a lot of enchantments on that brush. I kind of want to see though. Hold on. Yes, it's it was in a ball. So if you run at it, I think it, it turns into a ball. Yeah. Isn't it cute? Cute little baby armadillo. Anyway, sidetracking aside, if that's should be a jungle. Oh, there's a jungle. Okay. There we go. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to give up the grid search here because that's, that's going to take me forever. I think because I, it looks like this jungle goes off this way a fair ways. We're going to just go in a straight line and keep a listen for barking and... Oh, a parrot! Oh, first try. Nice. Yep. No, don't, don't go near that. Oh, look at that. Pandas. <laughs> and you know what? I don't know if they'll they'll like breed if I Oh wait, maybe. Yeah, there's there's a baby panda. <laughs> don't get too close to the cub now. Oh wait, I've got the bamboo in my hand. There we go. Uh, let's see if we can find that, uh, that puppy. Oh, there's another parrot up there. Another one down here. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Parrots galore. And there's another one there, and I can only take so many parrots with me though. I can only take so many. Some have got to stay here, be part of the the ecosystem. And I wanna maybe maybe I've gotta look up on the on the wiki just how I was going to say how, how the dogs spawn, but uh, I, we've got one on the edge here. Rusty Wolf, you are now my friend. There's another one. I oh, may as well bring back two. Why not? First try for both of them. This is a good day. 
Okay. Well. Now we've got to make our way all the way back to the base with these dogs and the birds and try not to lose any of them on the way. I'll, I'll bring you back once we're done because I don't expect anything interesting to happen then. Here we are, home again, home again, jiggity jig. Oh. And now I've just got to get these animals settled in. And <laughs> the parrots really like being on my shoulders. And uh, yeah, and we'll, we'll find a spot for everyone and, and we'll get this all sorted and lovely here. All right, so we have our doggies, we have our parrots, and they like to play tricks. They heard a skeleton and a creeper on the way back home. So now they, they like to play tricks on me and imitate those and of course they're not going to do it on camera but <laughs> when I was putting their nests in and yes they have they have proper nests now um they were they were threatening to blow me up and stuff and it, it wasn't fun but yeah they're in and then we've got we've got uh, here we've got do we have names for oh we don't have names for these guys yet Leave a comment below if you want names for these wolves, uh, these doggies, because we still haven't named them. I I don't know. I don't or I don't remember why we never got around to doing that. But let's let's do. Oh, yep. There we go. Bluey's starting to to make some some zombie noises now. Um. Anyway, we've got we've got uh, here is gonna be uh, Jack my doggy and we've got Jean my other doggy I don't actually have a, a Jean in real life but I've got a Jack in real life so now we've got Jack and uh, yeah I'll, I'll maybe color his collar green like like in real life too later but for now uh, what I want to do is look into the scoot thing the, the armadillo scoot because we can make armor with it is it like that? Yeah, it's like that. Okay. And then I might just leave it in the chest here. But we can we can who do we want to put it on? We'll put it on Jack. Jack's got a jacket now. And then I think it's shears to take it off, right? Oh, we've got skeleton noises. There we go, sheer brilliance. We get a, we get another advancement just for taking the taking the armor off. I think though, and if this helps the naming at all, um, if I take any dogs into into a hostile situation, it's going to be one of these two. These two are a little more expendable, I think. Um, but yeah, we've got that. We can we can color the armor. I'm going to leave the scoots here too, or maybe one of the scoots. Keep one in the in the storage room so I have scoots for that. Um, but yeah, we've, we've got we've got a doggy. All right, and now we're gonna end the episode here. Uh, I know we didn't really do any building. Uh, we'll probably do that next episode. But yeah, have a good now, have a good later, and we'll see you next time for more of whatever this is. Goodbye. Ooh. <laughs>